Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event of the evening. The following contest, ladies and gentlemen, 10 three-minute rounds of boxing for the IBF International and WBO Oriental Lightweight Championships. IBF Supervisor Ringside, Mr. Ben Kildee, WBO Supervisor Ringside, Mr. Danny Lee. This contest proudly brought to you by the Silver Brumby Estate. Ladies and gentlemen, get your piece of beauty this side of the Murrumbidgee. Look no further than the Silver Brumby Estate. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first this man's boxing out of the Blue Cotter. Tonight, this man wears the silver and black trunks. He weighed in 60.7 kilograms. Holding a record nine fights, eight wins, one draw, five big wins coming by way of knockout. He's trained by Hassan Aiva. He fights out of IAP, real deal. And North Melbourne boxing, ladies and gentlemen, from Melbourne, Victoria, let's welcome the challenger, he is the king, Hunter Yuwani! <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing his opponent tonight, this man boxes out of the Red Cutter! Tonight, this man wears the black trunks. It is a pink trim. He weighed in 61.1 kilograms, holding a professional record. Absolutely perfect. 13 fights, 13 wins, 10 big wins coming by way of knockout. He's trained by Steve N.G. He fights out of Matrix Boxing Gym, ladies and gentlemen, from Gold Coast, Queensland. Presenting the reigning, defending IBF International and WBO Oriental lightweight champion, Jacob the Flamingo and G. When the action gets underway, your referee, Phil Austin. Red corner, blue corner, come here, fellas. All right, gentlemen, I've already given you both your instructions in the dressing room. I'm just going to tell you one more time. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch them up. Touch gloves now. Back you go. Wait for the bell. Gus, good luck, fellas. They're still dancing as they face off. <laughs> Jacob NG and Hunter Uwani. Well, we haven't seen much like that before. And this one is entertaining before it starts. But the good stuff is still to come. An outstanding fight coming up between NG and Iwani. Ben Damon in commentary alongside the former IBO Cruiserweight champion Ted Kofi. And the champ Barry Michael has joined us as well. There we go. Yeah, Ben. <laughs> this is, uh, I'll tell you, some, some entrance. That's one of the most incredible <laughs> entrances I've ever seen. Let's hope the fight's as good as the entrance. Um, let me tell you, Hunter, I basically helped get this fight. Hunter's got power, but so is Jacob NG. It's going to be, you know, who maybe lands the first big shot here in the first round. Well, they're Hunter, both going for it. Yeah, Hunter needs throwing. to get on top of him. He's, he's throwing wildly at the moment. Yes, Real good. advantage in terms of reach for NG is very clear early. It is, yeah. It's a great fight on paper. These guys have both come to the middle and trying to stamp their authority, but it's going to be a good fight. A great but, dance off to start with, anyway. Unbelievable. Working well under... to the body is Awani, and he goes over the top as well with a left hand that got through onto NG. He's got to watch that right hand of NG's. It's dangerous. He's got all the skills, all the punches, does NG, but Awani, so back confident. Head. This is his fight. It's extremely confident, yeah. For us, last couple of days. Well, it took, got through from NG, and he goes to the body. The right hand over the top oh, goes nice, through as well. Right hand. The right hand's landing. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 He said he could do that. He said he could do that. Wow. That is a big one. He would knock him out in the first Seven. round from Hawaii. Are you okay? All right, you got it. Well, you've got to defend yourself. Took Fox. a massive shot. Hunter Wani presses forward against the world-ranked Jacob NG. He's just got to look for that big right hand again. Just, just repeat, repeat, repeat. One more then, mate. To the body goes Wani. Beautiful body shot. He's, got, he's still there. Over the top as well. NG has to hold on with a long time left in this opening round. Hunter Wani is doing him. exactly what he told us he would do. Awani with a right hand. NG's got to hold on. He's just got to hold on. Up oh, he's not again. Nearly right, right. again. NG holding on, but he's three seconds still. 
In the, in the opening round, what a right hand bomb. He told me he was going to do it. Awani presses forward, hooks and misses. Looks for his shot, the jab gets through. Jacob NG showing some heart to recover from a bomb like that. Wow. Still hasn't found his leg, this hasn't. Jacob NG. Yeah, what a, what a punch it was. What an opening round. 28 seconds to go, anything can still happen. Awani pressing oh. forward, takes a shot from oh, NG. NG's coming good again, he's coming back. But Awani doesn't. He's work here and goes to the body. NG working hard, showing his toughness. Yeah, Juan has just got to throw right hands repeatedly and try and land that same thing again. If he lands it again, mate. Big right hand and oh. peace. Got to sharpen himself up. I tell you, a, big, a lot of punches been thrown in this first round. Where's the bell? There it is. Wow. G tapped it out, got through, he shakes his head, and Awani breathing deeply after working hard to finish it off. And look at this shot. Have a look at this right hand. Bang! Oh, the flamingo went down hard. Did he ever? What a, you know, what an effort to get up and come back from that. But what a shot from Hunter. Oh, oh, that was a beautiful. Boom! It was an implosion. Wow! That is a massive right hand, right on the chin. Oh. And plenty in this building held their breath. Rock Jarvis watching on. Whoa. Enjoying the action, and there was always going to be plenty. I hope you saw the ring walks. You all right? Yeah. Let's see if we get something similar from the normal. Come on, Clint to get out. Jarvis. The gauntlet has been thrown down. Tell you Here we go, to round two. two. Anything can happen. Hunter put a, a lot of energy into that first round, trying to finish him off, and you would have thought he would have, but, you know, credit to Jacob NG to come back from that. Incredible. More big shots as well. A few uppercuts got through, but survived to finish strongly in the opening Break. round. Step back, NG. step back. Yeah, finished very strongly, showed his quality, showed his heart. But, but, Jabs from Owani. And he just what? What? trying what? to get back into it, into the body. Goes Awani. Hunter's got to, he knows right he's got again to, from Awani. He's got to close it up. He can't fight him at a distance. He's too tall, this bloke. He's got to get right on top of him. And Steve Stenborg's been training Hunter for the last month, you know, since we've got out of lockdown and working with him every night. Evades nicely, Awani, but the shots are coming back from NG. Yeah. Great work from NG considering the position he was in last round. Oh, yeah. incredible, really. Good shots, NG. Hunter's got to watch that right hand. He's deadly with it. He left hook from NG, got through, and then a right hand on the back of it. He's looking better. Right hand got through again from NG. He only is telegraphing his right hand. He so is, he is. He yeah, needs sharp enough. He needs to close it up. He needs to get up close. But he is working the body well. They've got to got take it. their toll. Starting to feel the pace of this is Awani. Possibly for big possibly, shots. But he's, he's throwing big body shots. He's, he's pushing his punches with fierce power, and that's what's Don't hit the hole, Jacob. Looks so right. visibly. Stop, stop. It's come here, Jacob. Both of you, come here. Time. Both of you told you, don't hit and hold, and if I say break, you stop punching, all right? Time in, box. Phil Austin stands his authority on these two. Wild shot from Hunter there. He needs to close it up. It's, you know, it takes a lot out of you throwing big overhand rights like that. Big shots that miss. Really takes it out. Chops in with his left hand. There's Awani. NG punching down but missing. They exchange shots, and it's a left hand from Awani that gets through. NG... Just misses his target with his jab. They spin around here. Yeah, he's working. Yeah. Yeah. He's down in round two. Four. 40 he's seconds he's left. Five. And he is set. Unsteady legs. Seven. Eight. He's You're obviously all right. Uh, okay, defend yourself. Now Bucks. can NG finish things off? Oh, big oh, right hand. He's in a lot of trouble still, Hunter. The one he's in strife. And he can't oh, cover up. Jab there from NG. 20 seconds to go. Awani fires back. Big shot. Down! Oh, goes again. Three, four, five, 
Ten Six, to go. seven, eight, you're Only right. seconds one. remaining okay, one. here in Defend round yourself. two. Box. Here comes NG. Oh, it is going yeah, it was a bell. It was a bell. The bell. The bell rang. The bell beat the referee. The bell oh, beat the referee. I think. Oh, I don't know if he should be going on. He's just about done, Hunter. A great, a great effort he's put up, but he's in dire he's I, I think you might though. be right, Barry Michael. Yeah, he took a lot trouble. of big shots. Let's have a look at them. Look at that uppercut, though. Beautiful. I mean, unbelievable. What that a fight. A nice right hand. Uppercut, a short right hand. A hook, and then NG finished it oh. with a short right hand that dropped him. Hunter needs to, if he's going to get through this, he needs to walk out with his hands held high and stay right on top of him. I don't think he's got the experience, though, to do that, to be honest. And Steve, I know Steve Stenborg in the corner there will not let him take too much punishment. If he goes down again, I think he throws the towel in personally. But it's been a valiant effort by Hunter only so far. Incredible. And look for that straight right, because he's coming straight at you. That's right. Straight at you, all right? Here he comes, the Flamingo poised to strike. He gets straight across that ring. The jab gets through. Yeah, great fundamentals from NG. Went straight back to basics and turned it around very quickly. Right hand beautiful. gets through from NG. The right hands are landing. Oh, and again. Bang again he goes. And another. Hawani stands up to them, but if one lands clean, oh, big shot. I think Phil Austin has got this so shortly. He's bouncing around this ring, this Hunter Wani taking big shots and he's ready to go. Sure is. Oh, nice right hand. Right hand. Right hand. Right hand. Defend yourself. Phil Austin's going to step in and finish this one. Yeah, the referee's very good. Cool. No, big shot from Hawani. He presses forward. Oh, oh, and Hawani throws him in. Get home. Now Jacob and G's hurt. A body shot, a shot in right hand. It's two minutes to go still. Oh, oh, break, break, stop. Oh, Hunter. Second warning, don't punch when I say break. Box. Oh, Hunter's in more trouble, trouble than aware of it go, I can tell you. So the body goes away. NG had it just oh. about done and he took a shot again. NG's very straight from NG. Yeah, Hunter's gassed, I think he's... Oh, he's got to go. Oh, there's that right hand from MG. What is the big left hook? What a fight we're seeing here on Fox Sports between Jacob MG and Hunter Awani. Unbelievable and talk about heart. You all right? Both these men, heart. And look at, look at the Flamingo's face. Taking some big shots, both boys taking lots of punishment. NG throws a bunch of shots that miss, and break, break, now break. we Tony have, up, fellas. in this go. third round, just one minute remaining, and there's been a hell of a lot of action. What a round it's been. Anything might happen, as we've been saying. Hunter needs to get his hands up, show some defence. He's wildly throwing shots, making him miss there, but 46 seconds to go, round one. Oh, presses forward, NG. Tries to rip in there. Hunter misses. NG presses forward. Hunter wild. Yeah, he's going for the fence. He has to. He wants to knock Break, break. Set back. Yeah, but you know. A tangle with 30 to go. Telegraphing. Wild shots telegraphing from Ted, yeah. He needs to get up close, but you know, easier said than done against a quality opponent like the Flamingo. Back in his hour, Good shot there from NG. Pressing forward, NG. Awani takes his shot. Hands up. Hunter. Oh, good body shot from Awani. Both guys taking big shots. Uppercut two from Awani. And a left hand from NG. Yeah, there we go. That's the end of the round. What a round. Ladies and gentlemen. Round three between these two has been. It looked for a moment like Phil Austin was going to stop it. Yes. But Awani produced the shot that he needed. And he hurt uh, He hurt the Flamingo. I mean, brilliant. You know, what an entertaining fight. Hunter Ioni taking too many shots, but showing what a valiant warrior he is and what a future he's got if he, you know, just changed a few things, to be honest. There's that shot that he produced, the right hands. He can punch. Oh, look at the uppercut. Yeah, the momentum just going back and forth for both guys. Brilliant action.
I took him through some punches about four months ago and he actually burst a blood vessel in my bicep. So he can, I know how hard he hits. <laughs> Think up body on the inside, rip him up, rip him up, up. he's around, we're going to change your head straight away. Yeah. Alright, that hook there, hit, miss, down. miss. Yeah, yeah. Alright, I change your head, don't stand there. Well, on the exit as well, hands up. Hunter looks pretty gassed, he needs to close the gap and stay right on top of him. No use throwing the bombs. I can't believe only three rounds have gone, that's more action. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Round four. Everyone's got their money worth it for sure. Three shots from NG to start this round, and Hunter Awani pressing forward, jabbing nicely. NG trying to be a bit calmer in the opening stages of this one. Good jab from Awani. Yeah, nice jab. He needs to do more of that straight punching. What's your heads, fellas? This is with a big right, shot. Right. To the, the body with a right hand is Awani, but NG comes back with a chopping right hand, and Awani comes forward again with NG's back against these ropes, but it's NG working hard on the inside. Good shot from NG. Clean a shot. There's a good right hand there from Awani. Yeah, look, he brings a great shot out every now and then. That first round, how. Flamingo came back from that. Incredible. Amazing stuff. Incredible. His legs just went from under him. Yeah. And he thudded into the canvas, but he smiled and he was back up. And by the end of the round, he was throwing the combinations again. They're both taking deep breaths and putting so much work in these last three and a half rounds. Ted, you know yourself. Good jab, right hand two from NG. Ted, you know yourself when you're missing shots like Hunter's throwing, it just takes so much out of you. Yeah. He needs to concentrate to the body, I think, Hunter. Minute 20. And just stay up close on him. NG gets a shot on the inside. Oh, right hand from Awani. Good right hand from Awani. NG's punching shorter, more precise. Yes. Line is just good little, little, good he's working up. hard is Hunter Wani setting the pace of this round. Oh, he's body. Pressing forward and throwing good body shots. Big right hand from NG and a hook. Awani just sways but he stays up. Hands back, hands back. Good body, great body. Out the back of his head. Right hands from both. Good inside work from both fighters. Antione, very tired, I think. Very tired. Very tired. Both boys very Break. tired. Let and it understandably go. Let it go. so, so much action. Both of them have been down. Big right hand from Awani. Oh, he is tired. He takes some shots. Leaves himself wide open. He did. He digs in. His NG. Work. Oh. Oh, misses man. Awani. And now they hang on. Break. Step back. 15 seconds left in round number four of ten here. We can't go the distance, surely. You wouldn't imagine it. I wouldn't imagine it's possible. They already feel like they probably have already. <laughs> and a little bit, I reckon. You know, both boys really exhausted. Oh, he shots to finish it. Left, left hand hands from NG got through on the bell. And they've earned this break, but... Hunter Wani produced a strong round there when we thought he might have been just about gone. Yeah, well, you know, he could be getting his second win, but he needs to still close it up more and yeah. keep his hands up. He's getting hit with too many right hands. Look, and, and look at that straight shot. Yeah, beautiful work from NG on the inside, throwing the more clean and more precise blocks and punches. And Wani just throwing the big winging shots. And yeah, when they yeah. land, they hurt, but they come from miles away. Yeah, he needs to body punch more like we, like Steve uh, Stenborg worked on with him and stay up close on him. But saying that, easier said than done against a quality fighter like Jacob NG. So great fight we're in the middle of here, but the main event is still to come. Mark Steves warming up. The famous Ben Brizzy, the Brizzy brothers, they've been around for a long time. Massive opportunity for Mark Schleeps tonight against the world ranks, Ron Jarvis. But let's concentrate on this because this is a special fight between Jacob NG, the Flamingo, and Hunter Awani. Hunter was out of his corner and on the other side of the ring almost before the bell rang. He's keen to get into it by the look of it. Oh. These Absolutely. guys have given it everything. I can't believe we're in the fifth round. Who knew it would last even this long? No. 
Who would have thought after the first round? Your body shot from NG. Your right hand got through on Awani. Great work. What? Measure here as Uwani, he takes a big shot. Oh, with the right hand. The right hand's catching him all the time. That's the one that's going to do the damage, I think. It was a big shot and it did hurt him. And he's wobbling about a little bit now, Uwani. Yes. NG looks for his shot. Oh, beautiful. Nothing on that from Uwani. No. Jacob NG, who went down hard in the opening rounds, what a but fight. came back wow. to record a memorable win. What a fight we have just seen. Unbelievable, Ben. Oh, oh that was awesome. That is, that is a great fight, just as we expected it to be. The ring walks were outstanding, but the fight was exceptional. Wow. Brilliant stuff. That was something else. Hunter Awani told us what he was going to do and he very nearly did it. He did. For a moment, when the legs went out from underneath the flamingo, you thought, he's gone. Here we go. But he's made of tough stuff. Yeah, he certainly is tough, the, the flamingo. He doesn't, I mean, he's tall and, and thin, but he's very strong. You know, can punch, can take a shot. That was, that. Yeah, no, yeah. that was stopped perfectly by It Phil was. Austin. He does a great job, always, Phil Austin, yeah, and he yeah. got that exactly right. Yeah. Hunter Awani yeah. was otherworldly tough, but he was done, and it didn't need to continue, and he had nothing left to prove. No. Oh, what a fight. What a great fight. Just, I'm extremely proud of Hunter. There, there's an example of a fighter there. He asked me to get him this fight. I, I thought it was a bit too soon for him, but he really did show his Let's have a round of applause for both of our boxes. It's just about had it done in the opening rounds. Oh, you've seen something special, but the best is yet to come because Brock Jarvis on the pads there with the legendary Jeff Mack. He is next at centre round. It's much loops. A massive fight. Sit. Sit. Okay, let's make this one official, our co-main and a contender for fight of the year in 2020. Yes. Here's Stephen Payos. Ladies and gentlemen, official decision time. Ladies and gentlemen, official time, one minute, 20 seconds into round number five. Your referee, Phil Austin, has called a stop to this contest, awarding the victory in favour of your winner. And still, IBF International and WBO Oriental Lightweight Champion by TKO, Jacob the Flamingo.